So it's been more than two years since I got this used Squire Thinline 70 Stelly and I got it for 250 I guess. It's about the VTC Chiriwintagi. And the previous owner changed the pickups to Fender Wide Range, as he told me, but I don't know, here's the pictures if it tells you anything because I get nothing out of it. It's pretty much the first guitar that I bought and didn't want to sell because I was happy with it. It's just kind of an honest review, since I see many people in the comments saying that you don't need fenders and stuff. And I kinda agree with them, you do not need like expensive gear to play or learn or like make music. But there is something more than just a price. Talking about look is just the Squire logo on the headstock instead of Fender, some might not like it. And uh, Squires has these uh, visible wood differences. Uh, I'm not sure if, ha if Fender has any, but I feel like they shouldn't have it. Oh wait, it doesn't look cool. Talking about quality, it's more likely that you can get a bad Squire than a bad Fender. I mean, in a way of having some issues with the like, screws or other parts of guitar. But I buy used guitars so I can have these issues in any case. If you notice this thing, uh, I don't have a switch. It's not an issue, it's a feature, I would say. When I play, I hit it every time and I just put it under the pick guard. And I took this pick guard quite a lot of times, so some of these boys I can screw for ages. But it never fell out though. I had to change uh, stock frets because they were not really good and I had a lot of uh, like concaves or doesn't make sense. But once you change them it's no problem from there. I also have a small tip. I always play with the capo. It's a bad thing to leave the capo on, the f on your neck. When you don't practice like you, you stop playing and you pull your guitar in the back and you have the capo on. It's bad for your frets because you will have these tiny holes, not holes, that's what I mean, you will have these. Fortunately I have the good frets now and it's not such a big problem. I never had any issues with these stock tuners, they are really good and uh, I feel like I couldn't get anything better than this. I'm not sure if it's focused for that price. So you pull your string here and it doesn't damage your gig bag. It's nice. And also it stays in tune really well. The feeling of an instrument is kind of crucial for me because if it doesn't feel good, no inspiration will come from this guitar and it won't work for uh, long practice runs. This one feels really comfortable for me, but I also got used to this because I was playing it for more than two years. And uh, I feel like the most noticeable difference with the cheap guitars is the way they feel. Sometimes they are like unexpectedly heavy or they doesn't resonate that well. I mean, it's all about the feeling. And uh, even though this one feels really nice and I'm really familiar with it, whenever I get Fender, I feel this difference. Fenders feel more smooth and more pleasant to play, but it's not such a big difference. I used to have heavier strings, but everyone else around me uses like 942, so it doesn't really work for me. I like the way it sounds from the amp and I got no problems with it, but for the recordings, uh, I feel like I would prefer single coils on this one, because I have to brighten a lot these voice to make them sound the way I want them to sound. And I think it's maybe more about my mixing stuff, like, I don't know, I feel like I'm doing something wrong because everyone else seemed to do it really easily. And I sold my cap simulation pedal so it got even worse. But anyway, I never complain about the way guitar sound because I always feel like it's more about mixing than, than, than your gear. So judging on my Squire, I really love it and I think I wouldn't get anything better for that price. And also it looks beautiful, just look at it. It doesn't have any, like, how, how do you call it? And here as well, but still it's really comfortable. So I hope it was helpful and see you.